What's going on guys, it's Sep, and today we are going to be going over the Lord of Wolves pandemic. So, Lord of Wolves still hasn't gone away. Why? Why Why is Lord of Wolves still a menace to society even after the 25% nerf that should have nuked it from the face of the earth? Well, the issue is that when it got its 25% nerf, it got that nerf as well as all other shotguns getting nerfed. So, Lord of Wolves still is on top, still the top dog. It's still an incredible weapon because of the fact that it, it was able to compete with other shotguns since it got nerfed along with everything else. It survived that nerf. So, right now a lot of people are combining it with Omni Oculus. I'm going to show you exactly what I use when I need to put on Lord of Wolves. This is purely something I use when I desperately need to win a game because the other team is playing like some absolute demons, be it Triple Sentinel with all Bastion Shields and GLs and you just need to get away to... Uh, to be able to cut through the shield or they're using Omni Oculus where you need to be able to do a ton of damage at once. I'm very resilient and stubborn. So I use my Duskfield build with Stompies. Now the Stompies, the negative 50 AE should affect Lord of Wolves, but it doesn't affect it too badly at all. The Lord of Wolves, generally speaking, shoots pretty straight and you're able to compete really heavily. So using Duskfield to ape an enemy, I'll throw a Duskfield on top of them, jump over, use Lord of Wolves, and it'll eliminate them rather quickly. I'll be showing that a couple of times in the gameplay today. This is the aspects and fragments, and these are the mods I will be using today. This is a scummy thing to do, but necessary sometimes. Let's hope that due to the insane usage rate, Lord of Wolves is finally going to take the L and get out of this game soon. But for now, it's incredibly strong, so I'll show you guys exactly how I use it in case you don't want to run around invisible lighting people on fire. All right, looks like we had a game of Radiant Cliffs. Something I want to go over before we get into the game, it's very important that you guys know, Lord of Wolves has two different modes. It has your release the wolves and it has your standard mode. Do not hold R to activate release the wolves. It is significantly worse. You'll burn through ammo and it has no accuracy. Avoid it at all costs. Whoa. This is a inconvenient start. Normally uh, when you see somebody on radar and you push over, they're not uh, hiding outside of the map. <clears throat> My fault. I'll do better. Got to make sure that we're collecting as much special as we can. Don't know why you're just hanging out out there. Let's see. The range on Lord of Wolves is quite ridiculous. You're going to get about the same range out of it as you would a uh, rapid fire frame fusion. Stay by the ice for our resist. Probably gonna have someone spawn right there. Never mind, they spawned on our right. And we did miss the first two shots of that burst, so it is not gonna kill him. We are hitting for about 50 a body shot. So if you hit four out of the burst, it's very easy to clean up. Or if you just, well, hello. Or if you just hit the uh, the shot with uh, extra ammo, then you can always clean up because it's extremely high fire rate. It's always awkward trying to uh, just run in with a shotgun for shotgun gameplay. But I know that a lot of people, they hear about Lord of Wolves, and maybe they don't have the catalyst, maybe they just never tried it. They don't know exactly why it's so powerful. So going over a couple of the details of why it is so strong. My first shot was sloppy, very easy to clean up with the second shot. It's very easy to get away with not using a primary. And yeah, it doesn't care about the AE nerfs at all. So that's definitely a huge part of it. Peak shots are ugly this morning, and we got team shot. I'm 
make sure that we are picking up as much ammo as possible. Lord of Wolves is also, for some reason, the only special weapon that starts with like three shots instead of two. Don't know why that is. So you just have a lot more kill potential. I did cut off the shot early, but it still takes the ammo. Let me see if I can go ahead and... Take some more ammo. Use that to get away. Shame on my accuracy. As you can see, if someone is stuck in a dusk field, there's quite literally nothing they can do with the Lord of Wolves. You can play your distance perfectly. And there's no counter to it at all. Literally whatsoever. That was insanely unlucky, to say the least. Very funny. Go ahead and go for the last shot cleanup. So as you can see, biggest reason why Lord of Wolves is so strong is not only does it have that insanely like ridiculous kill potential but it also has this uh, perfect in error accuracy I have quite literally zero AE with Lord of Wolves I don't know what its base is but I have negative 50 with Stompies we have no AE at all and this is before any of the uh, season 18 changes this is just how it is right now in the meta. I don't know if they're making AU changes in the future, but this is zero and I can still get kills with one burst in the air hip fire. This is a way too strong of an exotic. It's incredibly overpowered for the meta that we are in and it really needs to go. But if you guys are curious why everybody's using it, that's why. And if you guys like the video, make sure to drop a like and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.